Hello there. Uh, I'm going to give you a first lesson in how to take a derivative implicitly. Uh, this really just uh, means we're going to take the derivative of y as well. Um, so let me set up a little problem here. So if I've got that problem y squared equals x, if I just had y equals x, we know what to do with this. It's just y prime equals 1. Derivative of x to the first power is just 1. But with implicit differentiation, what you do is you take a derivative of each y that you see, and we're going we're gonna to do this one in in the general way. So taking the derivative of say x squared, we would bring down the two and and then take that to the one and the derivative of x is one. So that would by the chain rule come out to be just two x. Here will be the same thing. The two comes down, so we have the two. Y remains the same. I'm not gonna write the one here, but two minus one, I, I can write two minus one, I guess. That's uh, That's what our exponent power will be. And then the derivative of y is y prime. I'm going to use y prime. You can use dy dx if you want. So I've taken the derivative of the left side. I also need to take the derivative of the right side, which is just 1. And, you know, here we actually have you know, 2y y prime equals 1. And we want the derivative of y. We want to isolate that. So we're simply going to take an algebra step and divide each side by 2 over y. Or excuse me, 2y. So y prime will end up being 1 over 2y. And that's a general way to do implicit differentiation. Uh, I'm going to give you a slightly more complex example before I get into the e to the x. Right, so I'll leave this y squared alone. And that's going to equal, I'll just make it equal x times y. Now, I'm not going to divide through by y. I'm going to lose solutions if I do that. If I divide through by y, I'm left with y equals x, and then y prime will equal 1. And when you see the answer, you'll note that it's not going to be 1. Um, so on the left, I'm going to do the same thing that I did over here. But on the right side of the equation, I have x and I have y. I have two things multiplied together, so I'm going to use the product rule on the right side. So here we go. We have a 2y y prime as before for the left-hand side. And now the product rule is the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is just y prime plus the second. And the derivative of the first is just 1. The derivative of x is 1. So I do, again, want to isolate the y prime. I want to solve for that. So I'm going to bring those both on the other side. So I'm going to subtract each side by x y prime. So I get over here 2y y prime minus x y prime equals just 1. Now I can factor out a y prime. And finally, I can divide through by this quantity 2y minus x. So I'm left with y prime, which will be my ultimate derivative, is equal to y over 2y minus x. And again, please note, this does not equal 1. Uh, okay, so this is a, just a general example or two examples of how implicit differentiation works. I will do more.